Hello, my friends. So here we are on day five of the five days of soulfully aligning to the energy of the equinox. It has been a powerful week of energy moving, new transmissions coming through, and I hope that you followed along and enjoyed these little steps you can take to bring more soul into your life, because that is what it's all about. You have the power within you to fix any problems that you might be having, to manifest anything that you decide you want to create in your life, you actually have that power within you. And the more you bring that soulful alignment into your life, the more you will see things uh, unfolding and emerging in your life that you are desiring. One of the big things of manifesting in our in our lives to be the artist of your life is your connection with the earth and so yesterday we planted seeds in mother earth it was connected to wednesday's um soul wish list that we had our heart's desires which was also connected to the day before so each day was connected together in some way today we want to recognize and um bring forth a deeper connection to the earth. When I started to really feel that connection with the earth, just through my growth, all of a sudden it was like, ah, you know, you, you just nor you just naturally will feel a deeper connection to Mother Earth and begin to want to be out in nature to uh, respect her and care for her then things started to really flow because everything that we are creating in our world is coming from the earth. Everything that we are trying to manifest into this 3D world is made up of the resources from our, our earth. And so having a deeper connection with her, respecting her, loving her, it's a two-way love path is what it is that opens up so much more for you. Um, this is my painting behind me. That is my Mother Earth painting. And I'll put the link in here. So what I'm going to do is encourage you to actually spend some time in your creative flow painting with Mother Earth. Hold on one second. Puppy's got something she shouldn't have. <laughs> Okay, so if you spend time in your creative flow, just painting, appreciating, showing respect for Mother Earth, it really helps open up that flow for you to dive into quicker every time you do it. In my painting of Mother Earth workshop online, I actually walk you through and talk a little bit more about this connection with Mother Earth and how it opens things up for us, opens the flow of manifesting up for us and abundance, oh, so much abundance. Um, but you could, if you choose not to purchase that workshop, which is totally fine, you could sink into painting your own little painting of Mother Earth. It could be just painting trees or flowers or, you know, doing your favorite painting of a flower. And it doesn't have to be anything complicated. It's not about the end product as much as it is about being in the creative flow and allowing yourself to just have fun with that. Play with colors and remember our connection to the earth. We are children of the earth as much as children of the universe. We are the bridge between heaven and earth, the connection between heaven and earth to bring love forth here in the world, to create here in the world. And the universe wants you to create. The universe wants you to have your heart's desires. And so it's learning how to keep that flow open, an open pathway that will bring through. We are the ones that clog up the pipes and we are the ones that make it more difficult for all of that energy to flow through us. But if you can spend a few minutes just in your flow um, today or this weekend, 
take some time out to play and paint, or you can get my workshop, which will walk you through creating this beautiful painting. I'm working on another Mother Earth painting here. This one here is something that I was envisioning, and I intend to put flowers and vines and greenery into this, so I'm going to spend some time working on that. All right, that is the end of our five days of soulfully aligning with the energy of the equinox. Now, the whole idea of this time is bringing more soul and heart into our life, bringing more of our soul connection, communing with that relationship. And this is what I bring through for you. So I invite you to follow me. Um, keep following me. I do have a beautiful um, program coming up in June. I'm super excited about. It is the Soulfully Aligned Creative Mystic. It's a certification program. So if soulfully aligning is something that you think you want to help other people do, this may be exactly what you're looking for. It's a certification program uh, that we will go through and you will learn lots of different ways to use creativity to help people soulfully align as well as the big thing is you are going to walk the path of becoming more intuitive, developing your own gifts of, of psychic uh, channeling, of, you know, just allowing that creative flow to bring through the messages um, so much. It is jam-packed. So you not only walk the path, but then at the end, you learn how to do that uh, with other women, how to bring other women into their own empowerment. All right. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining me this week. And I would love to see what you've done this week. Um, send me your comments, your pictures. Um, I would love that. So thank you again. And you guys take care. Bye for now.